So guys, here we are. Another show and tell. Are you excited for this show and tell, Jane? I'm excited. Another show and tell, and today we're going to be talking about skulls. What? What are we crazy? That's right, skulls all the way. Not because we're dark, morbid, demented, or anything like that. At least I'm not. But because we're both scientists. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about skulls. So what do I got? This is a human male skull and a human female skull. How can I tell? This joint here in the female is worn down a little bit more than on the male because they talk. These are casted directly from real skulls. They're not real skulls and not that gross, but they're, they're casts from the real skulls. We got a dinosaur skull cast there. And then we have a Neanderthal man and Australopithecus afarensis. And then we have also a um, saber-toothed tiger skull. So those are my show and tell skulls of the day. And Jenny's show and tell is... Just tattoos! Show the skull. The skull is the first one because we're talking about skulls. This is a skull of a viking in the water. This viking has... Stop moving. <laughs> Let me tell you about the vikings. First of all, here's a little bit of history. First of all, the vikings for 300 years savaged... Savaged a verb? To savage. Oh wait, what was the place called? Where they where they Scandinavia? Scandinavia. Okay, okay, start over. Jeff's tattoos. We already did that. Okay, but let, let me tell you about Vikings just for a second. Vikings, three hundred years. Vikings went out and they savaged. Um, they're crazy out of Scandinavia. They did this big tour, came back, and so on. But what happened was one of their first places that they attacked was a monastery, and it was actually quite sad because they were ravages. You know, they were bad. They you got confused. They ravaged a country because they are savages. <laughs> they did not savage the countries because they were ravages. <laughs> okay, okay. Try that again. So they sat. They were savages who ravaged <laughs> the a Vikings, monastery. They were crazy. They were, they were savages who ravaged y'all a monastery for cabbage. Please, they were hungry. Can't blame them. They had no cheese. <laughs> this is a Viking who has laid down his sword. Laying has laid has who laid down his sword. Laid has laid down his sword. We go down and we have the Vikings. Uh, cat, not his castle, but it's like a beacon. A beacon. On this side, we have some flowers. I really like this flower, and a dragon, kind of like our dinosaur skull, and a castle, and a birdie. Sweet Twitter. This is a ship burning. And this is a bush. They're not going to be able to see that. They're not going to understand. This right here is basically, if I ever get in prison, I'll have plans to escape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant. Easy, Schofield. I know where the pipes are in these walls. <laughs> not there. That's all. I know where the pipes are in this room. Woo! That's right. Wait, someone call a vet because these pythons are sick. <laughs> okay. okay, so bird, burning dice, Jeff likes fire. A Jeff likes flower. flower. <laughs> this is a flower. Okay, reason why, reason why. I used to have a lot of tattoos before I changed my life around. I did change my life around, and I'm a better person. Send $5,000 to Joe and Jack. Cat! This is... See his horn, see his sword. <laughs> see his fist, you better run. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's my husband, and every time I look at his arm... It's like a new adventure because Wait, I've... people are going to be asking first of all, how did I get the tattoos? Why do I have tattoos? And why would Jenny marry someone with tattoos? I don't know. So here's the truth. You want the truth? Here's the truth. I'm going to give it to you. I used to be, I used to be in the mafia, <laughs> and I had. This is news to me. No, I, I wasn't. I used to play Mafia Wars though on Facebook. I was addicted forever. True story. Got to Cuba and then I quit. <laughs> Jenny doesn't know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh.
Okay, I'm talking to my friend Paul, and he just came up with the funniest analogy I've ever heard in my life. What were you saying? Dude, I just, I just like, um, I was just saying I like how you create uh, characters. I like how you um, create uh, trends through your vlog. And it's like Beaupair. Beaupair is a great character. Everyone gets excited when he appears. It's kind of like uh, the polka dot door when Pokeroo would show up. <laughs> All the kids go, go wild because they love Pokeroo. That was hilarious, man. That's the best analogy. How about, how about we call it uh, Bokuru? Bokuru, Bokuru, Boku. Boku, Bokuru. Or, or Poke Pear. <laughs> Poke Pear. I love that. Poke Pear it is. <laughs> awesome, man. This is what happens at 1.20 in the morning. <laughs> exactly. All my videos exporting. The creative, the creative juices start to spurt all over the place. Poker bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh.